So today we're going to talk about a case. This is a patient I saw yesterday in clinic in primary care. It was a 42-year-old Sri Lankan gentleman who'd gone to Sri Lanka on holiday to a village area. I can't remember exactly where. And he's come in with a few-day history of um, lesions on his hands, his legs, and also his torso. And these were almost like mosquito bites. That's what they appeared like. And he said they were a little bit itchy at the same time. Now, of course, usually when someone's come from a tropical country or from a country abroad in a hot climate, you think infectious diseases, for example, malaria, is it TB, or these kinds of illnesses. However, one of the lesions on his right calf, on the posterior aspect, was quite deep. It had actually gone down to the subcutaneous tissue, and you could almost see the gastrocnemius muscle. So the question was, was this a simple infection, like, for example, an insect bite, or was there something more to this? So, of course, um, we did some observations, we did some vital obs. He was pyrexial, he had a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius. His heart rate was also elevated, I think it was 125. His blood pressure was fine, and the rest of his observations were fine. But the question was, why was he tacky? Why was he pyrexial? And why had the lesion become so deep? Now, with classical mosquito bites, often the lesion is superficial. There might be surrounding erythema, there might be some cellulitis, and of course, you can do some blood tests for that. Uh, you can do a blood film for parasites uh, such as um, mos mosquito um, eggs. Um, but it was also important to work out, had there been another cause? So, for example, had there been like a flesh-eating bug, which he had perhaps come into contact with, and that had caused this punched-out lesion that we were seeing. And it's roughly about three centimeters in diameter, so it wasn't it wasn't a very small thing. Now the dilemma was what should we do at this moment in time? And actually, having seen the patient, the the, the management plan that we decided was to get him seen at the A and E department in Coventry, so that he could be seen by the infectious diseases consultant and the infectious diseases team, and they may need to do further tests. Um, so that's an interesting case I saw yesterday. It's one to think about. Of course, we can go out and do research about tropical illnesses in Sri Lanka, and that's something that you may want to do at some point.